The new hue and saturation curves in Final Cut Pro 10.4 give you complete creative control over your shots. I want to change the color of the car in this shot. In the Color Inspector, I'll add a Hue Saturation Curves correction. These top three curves are all based on hue. They let you change the hue, saturation, or luminance of a specific hue. I'll click the eyedropper icon next to the hue versus hue curve, and I'll click drag to sample the car. A vertical line appears on the curve for the selected hue, running through a control point. The other two control points represent the range of the selected hues. All I need to do is drag up or down to change the hue of this selected color. I can change the range of hues being affected by dragging these control points horizontally. If I want to change the saturation of this color, I can click the eyedropper for the hue versus sat curve and once again sample the car. Dragging the central control point up or down now adds or subtracts saturation for the same hue range. Or I can drag this master offset slider all the way down to remove all saturation from the shot, and now only the car has color. In this next shot, I want to change the color of these doors. I'll add the hue sat curves correction, and I'll use the hue versus hue eyedropper to sample the door. Then I'll use the hue versus sat eyedropper to sample the door and pull down the saturation a bit. I think it's too bright, so now I'll move to the hue versus luma curve, sample the door again, and bring down the brightness. If I toggle the correction off and on, we can see that not only are the doors changing color, but so is the reflection on the ground and in the bumper of the car. That's great, but these plants are also changing color. To limit the correction, let's add a shape mask. Position it over the door and change its shape to include the door, the sidewalk, and the car bumper. We can toggle the visibility of the on-screen controls here. And now we've limited our correction to just the area where we want it. Let's toggle it off and on. With this shot, I've used a color wheel's correction to increase dynamic range and to introduce a color cast to make it look like it was shot on a warm, sunny afternoon. However, this color cast makes the shadows look unnatural. I'll add a hue sat curves correction. These bottom three curves all let you manipulate the saturation of a shot based on specific luminance, saturation, or color values. The luma versus sat curve is great for adjusting saturation in just the shadows, midtones, or highlights. I want to pull out the color cast in the shadows, so I'll first add a control point to lock the brighter values in place. Then I'll drag down the left control point to remove all saturation from the darkest parts of the shot. I can then drag this lock point horizontally to determine where the color cast starts. Let's toggle that correction off and on. This shot also has a color cast in the shadows. Let's add a hue sat curves correction and use the luma versus sat curve to remove that cast. The next curve sat versus sat balances overall saturation. In the vector scope, we can see that the guitar and the player's shirt are highly saturated. If I drag up and down on the right hand control point of the curve, only the most saturated areas get more or less saturated. If I drag up and down on the left control point, only the least saturated areas get more or less saturated. So I can increase the saturation of these lower saturated areas and decrease saturation of highly saturated areas to balance overall saturation. And I'll add a control point near the center of the curve to adjust where the saturation gets reduced. In this shot, I've already used the balance color effect to remove the color cast, the color wheels correction to increase dynamic range, and a color curves correction to better balance the color channels. Now, 
I'll add a hue sat curves correction. The orange versus sat curve is great for adjusting the saturation of a specific hue at different brightness levels. It defaults to the skin tone hues. So for example, I can reduce saturation in the skin tone shadows and increase it in the highlights and adjust the curve. Or I'll reset that. I can sample the tie. Then drag down on the curve at the vertical line to reduce the saturation of the tie in the midtones. And I'll remove all saturation in the shadows. If the selected color isn't quite right, I can click here and try different hues. I'll toggle that correction off and on. You can see how powerful the hue sat curves correction can be, especially in combination with the other correction types. To learn more about how to use these powerful new features, check out our advanced color correcting in Phonica Pro 10.4 tutorial at rippletraining.com.